Alright, me and Duke's over here checking on some waterfront property we got for sale. And man, I got a I got attacked by this damn Jacksonville Jaguar. He got me and then uh, all of a sudden got a damn rattlesnake out of the woods. He snapped that freaking Jaguar and killed him on the spot, right? And then we're over here by the retention pond. Here come a damn gator out of the pond. Ate that freaking rattlesnake up right now. And then, Duke, tell him what you did, Duke. Yeah. Duke got the gator. It's been a hell of a day. Anyway, let's go make some food. Hey guys, Rob the Barbecue Pit Dog Channel. How's it going out there? Hey, you know what? If I've learned anything uh, in the last few years, because you know I'm getting to be an old fart, um, first thing is you can't believe everything that you see on the internet or YouTube. And also, when you make seafood, you have to have Uncle Steve's Gator Shake on there, okay? Because that's what we're making today. I don't know what to call it. You read the uh, the title in the description. I'm going in with some of these marinated. Can you see that? Garlic butter marinated mussels that I got from the grocery store. That's right. They were frozen. I'm going to show you how you cook them though. Going to cook them. I got some fresh made pork shrimp. I got some leftover andouille sausage. Andouille sausage that I got from Louisiana when I did a uh, video uh, show it up right we did a video for Big Lou I made a uh, on Dewey po boy it was pretty damn good and I had some of the sausage smoked sausage left over so I throw in the sausage the shrimp the mussels we throw them all together with the butter garlic sauce we're going to throw them on top of some linguine and we're going to make some garlic bread so we can dip in there. We're going to sprinkle a little parsley all over the top. Not to make it look pretty, just to taste good. All right. So it's going to be really good. Oh, and also some Parmesan cheese. I mean, what else? You might as well, I guess you could throw anything on there if you want, but hey, hope you'll watch till the end. Hope you'll hook us up now. Come on now. Don't be skipping around. All right, it's gonna be good. Here we go, check this out. All right, here we go. Got the saute pan kind of warmed up. A little bit of olive oil in there. So here goes that on Dewey. Throw it in there and kind of get it stirred up. Kind of get it revitalized. Wake it up. Wake up on Dewey. Here goes our mussels. Remember they're frozen now. They're in that garlic butter sauce. They're gonna come to life. Ooh, it's gonna be good. We're gonna let them go about 30 seconds. Then we'll throw in the shrimp. Oh, it's smelling good in here now. They're even starting to crack open a little bit. Got that garlic, butter, broth, andouille, the mussels. Oh well, man, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and add about another tablespoon of butter. Get that melting in there. And let's go ahead and throw our shrimp in. Get in there, shrimp. 
There we go. Alright, we're going to get these stirred around. Get them all kind of spread out. Don't want to stir it too much because I don't want to break my shrimp up. Get that butter melting. I think it's time. I think it's time to hit it with some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. That'll make a good nothing will. Ooh, if you don't have any Gator Shake and you make seafood, you gotta have some Gator Shake. And I like to put some of the spicier on there too. Just kind of kick it up a notch, or two, or three, or four, or five, or whatever it takes, right? Oh man, this is going to be so awesome. Starting to steam. Get them shrimp down there in that liquid. Don't need a lot. We're not about the liquid, we're about the shrimp and the mussels and the butter. Ooh, yeah. Alright, here we go. We're going to slap the lid on this. We're going to turn it down on super, super low and let it simmer for about five minutes. And then we'll come back and see what we got. Oh man, can you see that? Whoa! You got the mussels. Let me show you. You got the shrimp. You got the andouille in there. She's been steaming. I actually let it go about 10 minutes. Long enough for my pasta, which is over here. Kind of hard to see my linguine, okay? It's basically done. I'll tell you what. Let's get it served up in a bowl and get a taste test. Yep, Duke's going to get some too, so hang on. Let's go with some pasta. Steamy. Whoa. <laughs> About dropped it. There we go. Might as well get plenty for Duke and I. For me and Duke. Don't need this down here on the stove. Get up there. Alrighty. What do you think of that? Yep, it's gonna be good. Check this out. We'll sneak a little Parmesan cheese on that pasta while it's hot. And I should have saved a little pasta water to put on there because that would have been excellent. Or I could put some more olive oil and butter on it, but you know what? It's gonna be good. We're going to save this. You're going to see this again. Reason being, we're about to break out. Ooh, that's hot. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Shrimp, oysters. You call it a broth. You call it a stew. You call it whatever you want. Oh, it's got the andouille in there too. Almost forgot about that. I just saw it in there. Oh yeah. You see the muscles have popped open? That's when you know they're ready. You see how pink that shrimp is? Can't beat that Mayport shrimp now. I'm gonna tell you what. Let me move that right there. Let's get a little bit more of that broth. Let's get some more of the mussels. Look at that. Oh man, are you kidding me? I know this is like a family serving, but I think Duke and I can, well, we'll see what we can do with it. Yeah, that looks good to me. A couple more shrimp in there. Some more on Dewey. Oh yeah. A little bit more gator shake. Because it's seafood, you gotta have gator shake, right? Heck yeah. 
Now let's go with some more Parmesan. This is finger food and table food. Because we're going to be eating those mussels right out of the shell. Oh yeah, are you kidding me? You're going to see this one more time. Hang on now. now. I got some fresh parsley right here out of the garden. I love parsley. I don't do it for looks. It just It's delicious. I like it on everything. So put a little bit of that on there. Ooh, that's gonna be good. And my crusty bread has to kind of be like some Texas toast style because I forgot to get bread at the store. That'd be okay. Actually, watch this. Put that up there. Put a little more gator shake on that bread. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this cheese on everything, especially the bread. Lord have mercy, that's gonna be good. Then the high bite, we just do one more scoop of broth. Just because we got it. Oh yeah, there we go, that's gonna be good. What do you think? That's some good seafood pasta right there. Let's give it a taste test. Say hello to my little kitchen. And that's my creation. Lordy, lordy, lordy. That looks good, don't it? I'm just going to get me a bite of shrimp. It's pretty hot. Temperature hot. It's not spicy. That on do is good, man. It's been smoked, so it really gives this dish a lot of flavor. <laughs> you really get that Uncle Steve shape. You get the flavor. That gator shake has a, a citrus to it. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Yeah, I got the bread. Dip down in that broth. I find one that's easy to eat. These are good. Hmm. Eat them all day long, man. Those are good. Hey, man, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned. Duke's going to get a little, uh, uh, I can't talk, a little taste test out there. I just want to say cheers to everybody. Here comes Duke.